Estivation or estivation is a state of animal dormancy, similar to hibernation, characterized by inactivity and a lowered metabolic rate, that is entered in response to high temperatures and arid conditions. It takes place during times of heat and dryness, the hot dry season, which are often the summer months. Invertebrate and vertebrate animals are known to enter this state to avoid damage from high temperatures and the risk of desiccation. Both terrestrial and aquatic animals undergo estivation. Organisms who estivate appear to be in a fairly light state of dormancy, as the physiological state can be rapidly reversed, and the organism can quickly return to a normal state. A study done on Otala lactia, a snail native to parts of Europe and northern Africa, shows that they can wake from the dormant state within 10 minutes of being introduced to a wet environment. Fossil records show that the act of estivating may be several hundred million years old. The primary physiological and biochemical concerns for an estivating animal are to conserve energy, retain water in the body, ration the use of stored energy, handle the nitrogenous end products, and stabilize bodily organs, cells, and macromolecules. This can be quite a task as hot temperatures and arid Arid conditions may last for months. The depression of metabolic rate during estivation causes a reduction in macromolecule synthesis and degradation. To stabilize the macromolecules, estivators will enhance antioxidant defenses and elevate chaperone proteins. This is a widely used strategy across all forms of hypometabolism. These physiological and biochemical concerns appear to be the core elements of hypometabolism throughout the animal kingdom. In other words, animals who estivate appear to go through nearly the same physiological processes as animals that hibernate. Invertebrates, mollusks, gastropoda, some air-breathing land snails, including species in the genera Helix, Cernuela, Theba, Helicella, Acatina and Otala, commonly estivate during periods of heat. Some species move into shaded vegetation or rubble. Others climb up tall plants, including crop species as well as bushes and trees, and will also climb man-made structures such as posts, fences, etc. The habit of climbing vegetation to east of eight has caused more than one introduced snail species to be declared an agricultural nuisance. To seal the opening to the shell to prevent water loss pool Pulmonate land snails secrete a membrane of dried mucus called an epiphram. In certain species, such as Helix pomatia, this barrier is reinforced with calcium carbonate, and thus it superficially resembles an opiculum, except that it has a tiny hole to allow some oxygen exchange. There is decrease in metabolic rate and reduced rate of water loss in estivating snails like Regarda tescorum, Sphincter. Hirochila bossieri and others, arthropods, insecta, lady beetles have been reported to east of eight. Mosquitoes also are reported to undergo estivation. Crustacea Many land crabs spend dry seasons in an inactive state at the bottom of the burrows. Vertebrates Reptiles and amphibians Non-mammalian animals that estivate include North American desert tortoises, crocodiles, and salamanders. Some amphibians estivate during the hot dry season by moving underground where it is cooler and more humid. The California red-legged frog may estivate to conserve energy when its food and water supply is low. The water-holding frog has an estivation cycle. It buries itself in sandy ground in a secreted, watertight mucus cocoon during periods of hot dry weather. Australian Aborigines discovered a means to take advantage of this by digging up one of these frogs and squeezing it, causing the frog to empty its bladder. This dilute urine, up to half a glassful, can be drunk. 
However, this will cause the death of the frog which will be unable to survive until the next rainy season without the water it had stored. The western swamp turtle east of its to survive hot summers in the ephemeral swamps it lives in. It buries itself in various mediums which change depending on location and available substrates. Because the species is critically endangered, the Perth Zoo began a conservation and breeding program for it. However, zookeepers were unaware of the importance of the restoration cycle and during the first summer period would perform weekly checks on the animals. This repeated disturbance was detrimental to the health of the animals, with many losing significant weight and some dying. The zookeepers quickly changed the procedures and now leave the captive turtles undisturbed during the restoration period. Fish African lungfish also east of eight. Mammals, although relatively uncommon, a small number of mammals east of eight. Animal physiologist Catherine Dousman of Philips University of Marburg, Germany, and co-workers presented evidence in a 2004 edition of Nature that the Malagasy fat-tailed dwarf lemur hibernates or east of eight in a small tree hole for seven months of the year. According to the Oakland Zoo in California, East African hedgehogs are thought to east of eight during the dry season.